What's up guys, Josh here, AKA Olufemi. And I've been editing for about 10 to 11 years. I've come across a lot of techniques that I've continued to implement to just manage my workflow better. And a really cool technique that I'm gonna share with you today is called segmented masking. I think we all agree that masking can suck. I've done a lot of masking in my past. A few years ago, I was at intern at this awesome company called Riveting Entertainment. I was able to work on a bunch of Chris Brown music videos. In this video, I had to mask out a girl and double her up. Check out this other video that I did recently where I had to mask out this girl and put her on another background. Now let's go into After Effects and I'm gonna truly show you this technique called segmented masking and just how much of an efficient tool it will be in your workflow. Hey, what's up guys? We are now in After Effects. I have this footage of my bro Kel that we shot just a a few months ago. When you see this gun, you're gonna wanna pay me diggity 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 And I'm gonna show you guys how I mask. Now, I'm gonna click on this footage. I'm gonna assume that you've already masked before, and that if you saw something like this, you know, a confusing piece of footage, confusing in that there's a lot of movement going on. So if, say I wanted to mask him out, rotoscope him out, you know, usually you would probably do this. And it would suck, because look at all this movement that's happening. Okay, I didn't finish the mask, let's finish the mask. You know, there's all this movement. Um, I'm gonna have to literally like mask like every single frame because we have, you know, all this stuff. I'm gonna have to like change it up because you have the hand moving, the arm moving. Let's go back to the selection tool. And it's just gonna be crazy. You guys have all done this before. I'm not gonna show you guys how annoying this is because you guys know at this point. So how do you, how, how what is a quicker way to mask? Check this out, do these two things. I'm going to undo this mask. I'm gonna delete this mask and I'm gonna show you this first. The first thing that you're doing wrong is you're actually masking on the clip. This can suck because when you actually complete your mask, everything outside of your mask becomes black. So it's hard for you to distinguish where the edge actually lies. Instead of putting your mask on the actual clip, put it on an adjustment layer above the clip. Okay, so you put the mask on the adjustment layer and you do this. Okay, see how I'm just masking out his arm? Just kind of doing it slop sloppily right now. Okay, so the mask is on the adjustment layer, not on the clip. This is what you do, you go to the clip, you go to toggle and switches, make sure that you have track mat visible. You go to none, you go to your, you go to, you know, into track mat and you go to alpha mat and then whatever this is called. So the, whatever the layer above it, the adjustment layer you just put on top of it is called. So it's called the adjustment layer two. And that allows this mask to be applied to the, uh, this clip below it. You are using the track mat feature to basically take on the mask in the adjustment layer above it. Very, very simple. Of course, you'd have to, you know, mask, you'd have to, let's undo this for now. You'd have to go and, tra and keyframe the mask path, which is what we're gonna do. I want you guys to notice something though. Notice that the, I didn't mask out the entire body at first, I actually just masked out his arm. This is the second thing that you probably do wrong when you're doing masks. Instead of masking out the entire body, the entire entity of the thing that you wanna mask out, mask things out via ligaments instead because each ligament is gonna be moving by itself on its own axes. And it's gonna end up being, you're gonna end up having to use a lot less keyframes, those are these things right here, if you actually mask out the ligaments separately as opposed to as a whole. Because if you mask out his whole body, his whole entity as a whole, you're gonna have to use so many keyframes because you basically wanna key, you add a keyframe whenever there is movement or whenever there's a change in your subject that you're masking out to make, to make sure that the mask aligns to the edges, as you know. Um, if you mask out, say, just this arm, there's gonna be large swaths of this timeline that you actually won't need a keyframe. Like from here to here, maybe you might need one or two in there, but you, you will largely not need to put any keyframes in between here and here because there's a lateral movement. This, lig this ligament, this arm is only going to the side. And so it's relatively easy to keyframe ligaments separately. So I'm gonna literally be done keyframing his arm. Oh, I guess I was spoke too soon. Um, rather, you know, not too long because his arm is only moving um, kind of in two directions, side to side. Um, 
So give me a sec, I'm gonna keyframe his entire body and I'll show you the result in a second. All right guys, as you can see, I did just a rough mask over all of his ligaments and I masked him out. Um, notice I have all of these six masks on the adjustment layer. Let's close all the masks up and let's then go again to the footage beneath and do alpha mat adjustment layer, adjustment layer two. And the mask, the um, footage takes on the masks and the adjustment layer above it. And as you can see, I have a track of all the ligaments. Now I promise you guys, all of these masks, all six of them, cut my time significantly. Doing all these masks separately, masking all the ligaments separately, saved me so much time compared to if I just had one mask. So guys, I want you guys to do this next time you have a project where you have rotoscoping, where you have to mask out an object, mask things out individually, and you will save yourself so much time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Add your name and place of residence to my latest Instagram post, and I promise to give your Instagram page a little peek. Thanks for watching. And once again, guys, keep it chill.